I recently did a video uh, asking you guys to pick what images you wanted tutorials of. So um, this one was a couple, uh, actually without the uh, outhouses in there. Uh, we'll take those out in a sec. We're using HD Artist, um, which is a free application for your Mac, um, which will do HDR and tone mapping. Uh, it does a pretty darn good job, so I'll show you this right now. So I'll remove the outhouse uh, layer right now. Hmm. This slider down here is the tone mapping strength slider. So this is the original image, just taking taken a bit after sunset, um, out in the country somewhere. So you can see uh, there's there it increases the dynamic range artificially, of course, as I bring up this slider. So that that's what the tone mapping does. So I'll bring it up all the way, and then now all you need to do is click Save HDR. And remember that you can do multiple layers, so if you wanted to add another photo, it'll blend it in there. And um, so click Save HDR and come back in a sec. So HD Artist is done, so you can just quit that there. And there's the image, we'll open that up in preview. So there it is, and there's a couple things I noticed that are uh, bad about this. One, the first and the most obvious is of course the noise, and we're going to try and take that out in Photoshop. And second is this, there was a reflection or something down there, that's kind of bad distracts you a bit. Maybe this darkness here and that there. Maybe that little chunk of whatever there. But other than that, it's uh, alright. Might also crop out the sky a bit because it kind of dominates the picture. So I'm just quit uh, preview and we'll open this up in Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to try and do is reduce the noise. So go to filter, uh, noise, and then reduce noise. So, it's just going to load this up here. I'll zoom out so we can see the whole thing. So, as you slide the stuff, you can see the preview in there. So Photoshop's noise reduction engine isn't the best. It's, well, it's not that great for uh, this. We do it by hand with clone stamping and stuff, but we won't get into that in this video. We'll just um, clone out some uh, junk that got in the way. So it didn't do a horrible job of reducing the noise. It looks kind of splotchy, but that's fine. If we spent more time at this, it could look better. But what we'll do now is we'll just clone out some of the junk. I've showed this a bunch of times before, but uh, I still get people asking how to do it, so I'll, I'll show you again. So I'm in, oops, we're in the clone stamp tool there. I'm gonna pick a soft brush, it's the best, and then you can make it bigger by hitting the right curly bracket. And all you do is hit Alt or Option, click. To define your source, and then paint anywhere, and it will um, replace it with what is there. Oops. So I think that's all I said I was going to do the image, um, and well, that's that's enough for me. It looks alright. I actually um, prefer this with the noise. It's less noticeable than this blocky junk there, but whatever, that's fine. If you really want to get into reducing noise, there's applications designed to do that. So 
Yep, and that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment and rate. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.